Hey everybody, I hope you all are doing great. I am Rohan Sharma and I am here in front of you all with a very new playlist called DP is Easy, where we are going to cover dynamic programming from the very beginning to the very end in full depth, discussing all the possible approaches for a particular problem right from recursion, memoization, tabulation and optimization. Before actually getting started, let me tell you about myself, who am I and why am I qualified in order to explain you and teach you these concepts. I'm a data structures and algorithms instructor at the Acke Jobs Testbook and iNeuron.ai. From the last two years, I've been teaching these concepts in live batches and recorded lectures and have mentored more than a thousand students across India. I'm excited to start my own YouTube channel through this very playlist as the first playlist and I want to share all my knowledge with you all. This playlist is going to be completely in Java. We are going to cover 50 most important dynamic programming problems in this playlist. And don't worry, right, I'll be teaching everything from the very scratch to the very advanced levels. Let's talk about some prerequisites for this playlist, right? So first prerequisite is that you should have some decent knowledge of recursion, right? And I'm not saying that you should know very advanced levels of recursion because if you do not know about DP, you will not be knowing advanced recursions as well, right? But I'm just saying that you should understand what is a recursion stack, right? Those kind of basic concepts related to recursion. Right? Also, if you're not very comfortable with Java, you should know some basic features of Java, right? Like arrays, 2D arrays, function, you know, calling a function, those things like that, very basic things, for loop, while loop, you know, variables, data types, all that stuff, right? And you will be good to go. So let me tell you one interesting thing. Let me share with you how to watch this playlist, right? There is a huge confusion as to, you know, do we, should we solve along with the video? Should we code after the video? Like there is a lot of confusion, right? Let me tell you straightforward. First, watch the whole video and then try to implement and try to recall whatever you learned from the video. This way, you will not be wasting time in thinking the next step to solve the problem. Instead, you will be focusing more on learning the stuff, right? Because the problems we are going to cover are classical problems, right? And they are important problems, right? So just watch the whole video and after watching the whole video, try to solve your and try to recall the solution from the video itself. That would be the best approach. In the description of this video, you will be finding the GitHub repository link to this playlist and there I'll be posting all the codes for each and every video, right? And I hope to see you all in this playlist. Please follow this playlist and you know, once you follow this whole playlist through, I guarantee you that you will actually become a master in DB. And you know, here somewhere I'll show the screenshot of students as well as to, you know, they students are getting placed by doing DP itself, right? And DP is a very important topic, my friends. It is getting asked in interviews on daily basis. Nowadays, the companies offering lesser packages are also of like asking these dynamic programming questions. So it is a very important topic. You should never miss dynamic programming, right? So hope to see you all throughout this playlist. I hope you will enjoy this journey. We are going to start together. Please support the channel if you enjoy the content and until next video drops. Bye.